when you look back at this weekend with the Florida Mutineers finally climbing that mountain, they've been in the finals before. They've had a lot of storylines around them, and they finally get this tournament win, this weekend win. And even putting aside the whether this counts as a champion, a chip, et cetera, we can get to that a little bit later. But is there an asterisk beside their victory here? I mean, that's tough, right? Because I don't want to take away anything from Florida either. Um, I think that especially in the final, like uh, we heard um, Saint talk about it, I believe, in in the VO. And I talked about it with a few players as well. I also have talked to Florida about it in interviews that are going to come out. I think they prepared really well, especially for the finals uh, in terms of map vetoes and, and how they wanted to approach that match. Uh, however, um, it's, it's like a really tough position to be in, right? Because on the one hand, I don't want to take away anything from Florida because I, I do think they prepared and I do think they performed as best as they could. Do I think that the online server issues affected the performance of some teams? Yeah, for sure. Like, do I think that Seattle's S and D would magically be good if they played on, uh, you know, like perfect servers, no issues. No, I, I think they'd still have issues in that. But I I can't say definitively that, especially with so many close matches, like we had a lot of close like three twos, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's difficult to say that the competitive integrity of this tournament was, was fair across the board. Like, I don't think that's something you can say. And I, wa- I do want to be able to like compartmentalize that somehow. Like that's how, that's what I've been struggling with. And again, I wrote about this in our round table as well. Like you, you really have to struggle with like, cause you don't want to take away all the good stuff that Florida did like visibly do at, at this tournament. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, like, is this, if you're comparing this to a land event from earlier this year, where does that fit in? If you're comparing it to a chip from last year, where does that fit in? Like, I, I do think this is, you know, if you're making that comparison, it is a slightly lesser competitive tournament unfortunately that's fair enough yeah i mean i would i would i would agree with that and um yeah you look at florida did did pharaoh play out of his mind Uh, absolutely and did did florida look great absolutely but Mm -hmm. was this online yeah were there exactly everything that emily said i don't need to reiterate all of it it yeah it does kind of have those asterisks tacked on to it um which is kind of, it's a bummer though. I mean, it, cause you don't, you don't want that. You want to see clean wins and everything else, but um, yeah, definitely asterisks. Um, but also Arda, to your point earlier, and I was saying this consistently through my watch parties all weekend was that you got to be forgiving and you got to give some breathing room to CDL right now, especially for this first weekend. Cause they're going to have all of those issues. You can't smooth them all out beforehand and we'll see what they improve going into Chicago, April 24th to 26th. But yeah, to, to both your points, like yes, asterisks also, yes, give them a little bit of leeway while they figure things out. 